and it says to replace. But I don't believe it. I press a button. I press this over here. I press that because it says I can press that if I. I forgot what it says, but I can press that and then press OK. And I press OK and it goes ahead and prints. It prints. It don't say, say it again one more time. This will say that I have to change, I have to change one of these. But I or it says to push the right arrow. That's the right arrow. And I push that. Then I have to press, and then it says press OK. Then I press OK. Then I can go ahead and keep printing because there's still so much left in that thing that you might say would be waste. But the printer company has two things they want you to buy because they're expensive. They want you to buy new ink cartridges. And also, also they don't want you to really run it dry. Because some people, when they put the new one in, it won't work right away. Because there's air in the line. Because there's a rubber tube that goes from the cartridge up to the head. There's rubber tubes that go up there. And there's ink goes in, in those rubber tubes. And if you get air in there, it won't print. So if you run it dry, and you buy a new one and put it in there, it won't print because you got to you got to clean run the clean program and when you do that it sucks the ink up into that and get rid of the air and then it'll start printing so um, in in a clean program and and uh, um, This is the same one. This is the same one as this. Yeah. I see. Clean print heads. Clean print heads. And when you 